Hello, I'm Rydian, and this is Thief, Deadly Shadows. Specifically, it's the Shale Bridge Cradle level. Commonly considered the scariest and best level in the game and in all games. A lot of people have tried it. I played this game before, but I've never done this level before. Now, I'm normally not much for horror, but I guess we'll see how this goes. So join me. Our journey into hell. The Shale Bridge Cradle. It used to be an insane asylum, and before that, it was an orphanage. One night a fire started, no one knows how, and after that, they left the place abandoned. If there's a way to cram more misery into one building's history, I can't think of it. I'm here to learn about the old woman who attacked me in the Keeper compound. Drept said he saw the hag here at the orphanage long ago, when his childhood friend was murdered. He's never dared to come back, but I don't think I have much choice. It's a thin lead, but it's all I have left. I've never robbed an orphanage before, and I can't say I'm looking forward to this visit. There's no telling what I'll find inside. I'm used to the dark. But this feels like a house with bad dreams. That it does. Thief isn't normally a very scary game, but every now and then there is a level that is a bit unique. Um, you can choose difficulty levels, and the beauty of Thief is that you can alter them. Generally, for easy, you just need to steal 30%. The opponents don't feel you as many, there's not as many of them and you take less damage. As you increase, you need to find specific special items and steal a lot more loot. And they also start finding you a lot easier and you dying a lot faster. Specifically an expert, you cannot kill any non-combatants. Now, it's been a long time since I played this game. So I'm tempted to go in easy, but I feel normal is probably the best thing to do. Our goal is to find out what the hell is going on with this hag. Earlier in the game, the hag and I had an encounter, and we talked to Inspector Drept, who mentioned that he knew about the hag from the cradle a long time ago. For our gear, we have broadhead arrows, water arrows, noisemaker arrows, and moss arrows. We don't have any fire arrows, but if we find any uh, fire crystals, we can combine them with a broadhead arrow to get some. We'll see how that goes. Otherwise than that, we have our health potions, holy water for the undead, oil flask, and some bombs and stuff. We're not exactly armed to the teeth, but then again, we're not really supposed to be a fighter. Let's give this a go. Welcome to the cradle. Lovely place. So far, it seems kind of quiet. Take a look outside if there's anything we need to get first before we go inside. But, it doesn't seem like it. Sign, maybe. Oh, there we go. It was better before. There are too many rules to remember. Don't go here. Don't touch that. Don't talk to the patients. The doctors are just as scary as the patients. Miss Arthur says orphans shouldn't complain. So this place used to be an insane asylum, then it used to be an orphanage, but it used to be both at the same time? Oh. 
Oh, great. We have a door. <sighs> that didn't work. Maybe there's a fuse box in the basement. Maybe. Found some loot. Let's not screw around in this place. Let's cover the fuse box. Lovely water everywhere. Case number six F Troop Topper. Patient history. Entry one. Brought in by City Watch, hysterical. Carries an urn that contains the ashes of what authorities think might be her own infant. Refers to self as Mama Topper. Could prove a difficult taste cure, Dr. Sandbridge. Entry 2. Efforts to take the infant ashes away are always met with the same self-destructive behavior. For now, we see no harm in allowing subject to carry them with her during a weekly walk in the exercise yard. Inform Dr. Hanscom that I approve of the use of this experimental heat therapy. DS. I don't like the sound of heat therapy. There's nothing here. There's another room down here, though. But this looks like a fuse box. Or, no. Here's a fuse box. It's burnt out. They must have kept a spare fuse somewhere. I hope so. Case number 7. C. Pins. Patient history. Andrew 1. Admitted to hospital for observation and treatment by her family. Completely unresponsive to questions or the presence of others. Due to her sensitive age, recommend she be placed under Dr. Sandbridge's expert care. Dr. Hanscom. Entry 2. Told the family today that subject will never be well enough to return home. As proof, I showed them her cell, which is of course grotesquely outfitted in the same way as the murder scene. I believe on some level they were relieved. DS. Entry 3. The board has decided to allow her continued visits to the balcony with her birdhouse. Okay, we're after a spare fuse. This is quite dark. In more ways than one. God, it makes so much noise. Therapy. Patients have lost touch with reality, have a marked case of 
down to the extremities. The symptoms result from excessive emotive humors that are trapped in the individual due to bile deficiency. Application of heat. Hot elements must be laid directly onto the skin to draw away the excesses of moisture. Jesus Christ. It's a fire crystal, I think. No. Just oil and stuff. Stairs up. This is... Oh, what's this? God damn it, don't make so much noise! What was that noise? Have an apple. I didn't want to have my picture painted, but I was too scared to say no. I guess I did it right, because he said I sat good and still. Okay. These stairs down to... to where it was before. whole thing worked out. First, ain't no need for you to worry. I found a real good hiding place for the bag of gold teeth. It's real hard to find, and anyway it's in the morgue, and ain't nobody goes there unless they have to, or they's dead. Know what I mean? Figure a couple of more days a week tops and I'll yank enough gold teeth and these poor dead loonies to buy something real fancy. You just do your part, just find as a buyer. The candidates don't ask too many questions. I mean, you can't just walk into any old place and sell a bunch of gold teeth. Don't let me down. Desmond. Okay, there's a bag of gold teeth somewhere here. Um, is there anything? Nothing on the pillow. Um, I'm gonna pick this lock then. Each ring is its own thing. So the more rings, the longer the lockpick takes. Kind of want to look behind me, but I also kind of don't. We got a bit of loot. Still need to find the fuse box. A lot of these stores have been barred over. Okay, here we go. Okay, we might not be alone. a fuse at least. What's this? She looks familiar. It's that keeper translator girl. But that can't be. This portrait must be as old as the building. I can hear you breathing. Nobody here in the cradle does that anymore. How did you get in? My name is Laurel. Something changed when you saw my picture. 
That's why you can hear me now. I want to leave here, but I can't. The cradle won't let any of us go. Will you help me? They filled up a bottle with my blood. It's down in the storm cellar. It's very dark down there. Please find the bottle and drop it into a drain pipe so it will end up outside. It's important. And we're helping a ghost girl. Well, first we can put this fuse in. At least we know where to go for that. Electricity is back on. Okay. We need to find her bottle of blood. where they used to put the new patients until a cell opened up. You should stay out of there, or the cradle might see you and try to keep you here forever. This one must be hers. It's still warm. Great. Okay. Uh, drop that in the drain pipe. that down here no I don't think so I don't know if there's anyone here. There's been noises all this time so far, but nothing but a ghost. I have a feeling that's not going to stay the same for a long time. Oh god. It won't open. That's not a good sign. No. I feel pretty confident saying that's a pretty bad sign. Ah, that one we saw before. I'm gonna go up the stairs. I can go a little bit faster. Thank you. 
We've been in here before, yeah. And the fireplace is suddenly lit up. Well, it's not really a fireplace as such, is it, I guess? I see the electric lamps up. Okay, where the hell is this drain pipe? Dr. Anker. We all agree that lobotomizing several of the most violent cases may solve our uprising problem. Your silver surgical kit is already in lobotomy theater, awaiting your arrival. Several of the other physicians will be observing today so that we can increase the number of procedures performed in the very near future. As you suggested, sometimes there can be more to be learned from a surgery performed incorrectly, so we'll keep the training to a minimum. I had a chance to look over your surgical kit. Custom made, eh? Must be quite valuable. Don't let the patients know it's silver. Should go missing. Sandbridge. Well, it's valuable loot for us. If we can find it. Let's look at the map. Currently we just left the lobby. Uh, down to the morgue. That's where the bag of gold teeth was. That's up to the nursery. We have treatment rooms over there. This is the path up to the south tower and the attic. Well, we can open this now, so... These are where the cells are. Staff tower. That's the staff tower. Nobody is allowed up there. Do we need to go there? I don't know if we need to go there. there. Might be stuff up there. I don't like the sounds here, though. I really don't like the sounds. Oh. We can't go up here. So there's loot, though. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Well. I guess this is where we're going. To the inner cradle. Anything yet? Maybe not. I stare, so I'm not gonna go up the stairs just yet. Lounge. Are we... I think we're, this is the Hall of Records. <gasps> Duck, I just saw something, alright. We're no longer alone. Oh god. We are not alone. Gonna have our dagger out. Undead generally don't care much about a blackjack. The hell is this some sort of elevator? We 
Wait a minute, girls. Drain pipe in the lobby. We're not even supposed to be here yet. That's really noisy. Care then. Don't like this ticking noise. Let's go to the lobby. is here. There we go. That's good. The bottle is outside now, where the cradle can't see it. I have to get rid of all my things. The cradle uses them to remember me. That's how it keeps me here. There's a ward here called Whitehall, where they kept the very bad patients. One of them took my nightgown back to his cell. It's still there. Please get my nightgown and then burn it up in the morgue. That's really not what I came here for. But there's no way out. White Hall is to the left in that room. All right. Inner cradle. So the entrance is that that little thing. So straight to the left is the White Hall. I guess. Here. Come on. Oh dear. Jesus Christ! 
<laughs> Fucking I'm dead! Okay. <clears throat> it's a good thing we saved. <laughs>